Episode 3 The Art of Letting Go As the moon bathes the city in a silver glow, the quiet of Alex's office contrasts sharply with the unrest he feels swirling within him. Queen bringer of good hope, attuned to the undercurrents of his soul, senses both his readiness and his hesitation. She knows the profound journey ahead requires not just willingness, but an open heart and mind. To guide him to his openness, she adopts a gentle yet persuasive approach. Alex, Queen begins, her tone as serene and unwavering as the pale moonlight streaming through the window. I sense a great strength within you, a strength that has undoubtedly propelled you to your current heights. Her eyes, reflecting a depth of understanding, hold Alex's gaze as she allows the weight of her words to sink in. She pauses for a moment, giving space for her observation to resonate in the quiet of the room. It's a deliberate pause, one that bridges the gap between them, knitting the air with threads of unspoken truths and shared vulnerabilities. But along with that strength, she continues, her voice dipping slightly to draw him deeper into the conversation. It's as if it's woven from the very fabric of your past experiences, threads spun from pain and disappointment. Queen leans slightly forward. Her movements measured and empathetic, reducing the physical space as she delicately navigates the emotional distance. It's not uncommon, Alex. We all carry these remnants of our past with us. They shape us, guide us, and sometimes they even protect us. But they can also hold us back, create barriers where they could be bridges. She lets her words linger, allowing Alex to absorb the implications, to see his own reflections in her gentle disclosures. This resistance, while it has undoubtedly served you in some ways, might now be the very thing that's preventing you from fully embracing the changes you need to make. It might be keeping you from diving deeper into your own potential, from exploring paths that could lead you not just to success, but to true fulfillment. Think of it, she suggests softly, as a dam holding back a river. The water behind it is your potential, vast and waiting. The dam, your resistance, keeps you safe from the floods, but also from the fertile plains that could flourish if only the river were allowed to flow freely. Queen's approach isn't to dismantle the dam hastily, but to introduce the idea that perhaps, with careful consideration and trust, the gates could be opened just enough to start nurturing the lands below. She offers this metaphor, not just as a moment of understanding, but as an invitation for Alex to explore his own internal landscape, to begin considering how he might let his river flow more 
freely. Her gaze is compassionate, drawing Alex into a space of trust. It's not uncommon to fear what we do not understand, and even more so, to resist revisiting the shadows of our own fears. She continues, However, the principles I wish to explore with you, karma, the endless cycle of energy and reincarnation, are not merely spiritual concepts. They are deeply rooted in the everyday ebb and flow of our lives. Queen Bring of Good Hope, seeing the subtle shifts in Alex's demeanor as her words take root, leans slightly forward, her voice softening further as she connects deeper with him. Alex, think of your life as a complex network of decisions each one echoing into the other, much like the strategic decisions you make in your business. The principles of karma and the endless cycle of energy. These are not just mystical ideas, but practical tools for navigating this network more effectively, she explains linking her teaching to Alex's familiar world of strategy and decision-making. She pauses to ensure her next words hit home. Imagine if you could anticipate not just market trends or business cycles, but also the emotional and psychological cycles that influence you and those around you. Mindfulness mentoring isn't just about finding peace or learning to meditate. It's about gaining a deeper understanding of these cycles, learning how to influence them and how to use them to your advantage. Queen suddenly shifts her position mirroring Alex's posture to reinforce their connection. Your hesitation is natural. It stems from a very rational place. You've been burned before, trusted the wrong people, made decisions that seemed right, but led to unexpected challenges. What if you could approach these situations with a clearer mind next time? What if you could see the patterns before they fully form? She allows a moment for Alex to ponder, then adds. This mentoring session we're about to embark on can equip you with the tools to navigate not just your external business environment, but also your internal landscape. You'll learn to recognize when old fears or biases might be clouding your judgment and how to step back and make decisions from a place of clarity and insight. Seeing a flicker of interest in Alex's eyes, Queen delivers a final persuasive push. You've mastered the art of business, Alex. Now let me help you master the art of your own mind and emotions. This is not just about personal growth. It's about enhancing your leadership in ways you've never imagined. It's about making you unstoppable, not only in your career, but in every aspect of your life. Queen extends her hand slightly, an invitation for Alex to join her on this journey of exploration and mastery. Let's just start with one session, no commitments, just an opportunity to explore a new tool that might very well be the key to your next level of business success. 
In this pivotal moment, Queen has not only addressed Alex's hesitations, but has also aligned the concept of mindfulness with his goals and values as a leader, making the prospect of a mentoring session not just appealing, but essential for his continued success and personal evolution. In the calm of his office, Queen Bringer of Good Hope tunes into Alex's slight unease. Deciding to pivot, she chooses a more tangible, nature-based method steeped in African mysticism, but with a nod to Buddhist perspectives about life's continuous cycle. Alex, Queen begins, her voice imbued with warmth, while Buddhism offers rich insights, let's focus on something that surrounds us every day, the natural world. It's a living, breathing example of life's cycles, accessible and relatable to everyone, right? Mm -hmm. Then she leads Alex to the window where the outline of a solitary tree cuts against the cityscape. See that tree? It's vibrant now. But each leaf will eventually fall, returning to the soil. This isn't just decay. It's a profound transformation. The leaf nourishes the earth, setting the stage for new growth. It's a powerful reminder that our own endings can foster new beginnings. As they settle back into their seats, Queen ties these observations to karma. Think of karma like the seeds we plant with our actions and thoughts. These seeds eventually grow, reflecting what we have sown. It's a principle that resonates across all cultures. She dives deeper, using the life cycle of the trees as a metaphor. Imagine the tree itself, which begins as a seed. Every choice we make, every action we take, is similar to planting a seed. Over time, these grow into our lived reality. When we choose to die daily, to let go of what was and embrace change, we're planting new seeds for a better, wiser version of ourselves. Each day, she continues, is a chance to be reborn, to see the world with new eyes, just as a tree renews itself each spring. This daily rebirth is like a personal reincarnation, living out the enlightenment from yesterday's lessons. Then, Queen Bringer of Good Hope brings the focus back to the natural metaphor. The journey of the leaf doesn't end when it hits the ground. It begins anew, enriching the soil for future growth. Every transformation feeds into the next, making the soil of our experiences fertile for what comes next. Seeing Alex's engaged expression, Queen feels reassured that her approach is resonating, making the complex themes of mindfulness and transformation more tangible and pertinent to his daily leadership role. As their session nears a transformative turn, Queen Bringer of Good Hope senses the perfect moment to introduce a challenging yet essential exercise to Alex. She understands the resistance that writing an obituary might invoke. After all, 
who willingly faces their own end. Yet, she knows this is exactly what Alex needs to transcend his fear and build a meaningful legacy. Alex, Queen begins with a captivating intensity, leaning forward as if to share a secret. Before we advance further into our mindfulness mentoring session, I propose an exercise that might initially seem daunting, yet I promise you it's incredibly empowering. Her eyes lock onto his, a spark of challenge lit within them. Alex stiffens, the idea as chilling as it is unexpected. Sensing his discomfort, Queen's voice softens, weaving a lure into her proposal. Imagine this not as an end, but as an ultimate act of creation, a chance to author your legacy. How do you want to be remembered? What seeds of change and growth do you wish to plant? This isn't just about confronting mortality. It's about defining the immortality of your influence and values. She stands, pacing slowly with the rhythm of her words, making each sentence more persuasive. Crafting your obituary is like sketching a blueprint for the masterpiece your life is yet to become. It allows you to assert control over how you will be remembered, turning the fear of the unknown into a narrative you write yourself. Pausing by the window, backlit by the moon's glow, Queen turns to Alex. By envisioning your legacy, you charge every moment left in your life with purpose and direction. You transform fear into a foundation of future greatness. A legacy that echoes beyond the bounds of life. Her voice drops to a compelling whisper. Let this be the seed from which your grandest self grows. This task, though unnerving, is a gift to yourself and the future. It's your chance to sculpt your destiny and inspire those who will follow in your footsteps. With a grateful gesture, inviting him to imagine the possibilities, Queen concludes, take these next two days to reflect and write. When we meet again, share with me not just an obituary, but the declaration of a life far from finished, ready to imprint its essence on the world. Stay tuned for the next thrilling episode of Whispers of Wisdom, where we'll discover how Alex rises to this provocative challenge, crafting an obituary that could redefine his understanding of life, death, and legacy. Will he embrace this opportunity to script his final narrative? Or will the shadows of fear pull him back? Find out as Alex confronts his ultimate fears and perhaps, in doing so, discovers the path to his greatest achievements. Thank you.